Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to another video by the Nerd Forum, and in this video, we are going to be learning how to work with PBR material shaders in Godot. It's a very simple process, much similar to the principal shade in Blender, so if you're all familiar with that, this would be a piece of cake. So firstly, what are PBR shaders? For those that don't know, PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering, and is a method on how light interacts with materials. It has become a common standard for working with image textures in today's time, so it's quite relevant. So with the model I'm going to be using today, it's a gas pump model that I textured in 3D code. If you are interested in that process, you can click the link below or visit my page. Just as a side note, for any artists interested in game VFX, I have an explosion sprite pack for VFX in 2D or 3D games made in Godot. If you want the asset, it is on my gum road. So yeah, let's get into it. So firstly in Godot, what we are going to want to do is create a 3D scene node. There we have it. We're going to want to go to where our models model is. So I have exported mine as an FBX. I don't know, it's up to you if you're going to have to export yours as an OBJ, but it's really up to you just importing the model into Godot. So I usually just drag and drop it into the files thing over here and let it import. After that, I have my model. And look, if this is not the correct way or the best way to do this, please offer a suggestion if you can. This is just how I know how to do it. So I drag this into my scene and I can zoom out. Okay, so what I would like to do is open this in an editor and it's gonna, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna select open anyway. So we are going to come to our textures. Here are my textures. I pretty much only need one. Maybe just if I can import the whole file. Okay, so now that our textures are imported, we can click on our model on the node tree. Okay, so what I'm going to do in my inspector, I'm going to come to my geometry. I'm going to come to my geometry. And then I'm going to go to my material override and select new shader material. Okay, let's just stretch this out a bit, click on that. Then the shader, I'm going to sell, I'm going to set it as new shader so we can open. Let me see, mode, um, visual, we need a visual shader. So it uses the nodes. So yeah, create. Come to shader editor down here. Click on our shader over there. I don't know if I can stress this out for you guys so you can see. Come to my textures and it's a simple process of dragging and dropping. So I get my base color. I drag and drop it over here. And set this to color, the, the data type. Set it to color. Put over there, get my metalness. Put over there, set this to data, it's okay. Then my roughness. Also set that to data. Then my normals. I can drag that over there. So for now, let me just start by connecting the color to the albedo. So I currently have no alpha textures. I only have a base color, a metalness, a roughness, and a normal map. If you have probably an opacity map, an emissive map, then you can connect those specific ones to the specific node uh, inputs or outputs, inputs, whatever. So yes, I'm going to connect this uh, metal metalness to the metallic. And then down here, the roughness. So this is very much like Blender. So if you are familiar with that, then you would not struggle at all here. And then set this normal map to normal map. So it knows how to calculate. And then connect this one to the normal map node. And there you have it. So now your model has... PBR shaders 
in Godot. So then you can light up your scene. But now you have realistic texture, realistic textures and realistic look for your asset or your model in Godot. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial, watching this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And show some love to the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Peace.